What's going on everybody? Joshua Skinner Farms coming back at you. Hear a little bit of wrestling going around in here. We got a got a butcher date for this one, so we're just gonna leave him on a trailer. Give him a little bit of bread, sorry. Gonna try and move some hay today. Get stuff situated here. feeding him and water in a trailer. So uh, if he's going to butcher Tuesday, Monday, tomorrow, after done, and after work, I'll drop him off. But uh, got the skid steer over here going. Can't see. Way, way up there. Truck fuck bed on it. That stitcher, skid steer going to move some hay if we can get it moving. It's acting up right now. Get you flipped around here somehow. Yeah, I ain't figured out. We're gonna go for a walk. Y'all have seen this front pasture many, many times. Go up here and see what kind of issue we got going with the truck and trailer. Make sure it's out of the way. May have to get the neighbor's big tractor to get it all unloaded, I don't know. Can't get the skid steer running and it runs. Got stuck in the driveway, start throwing codes. Not sure what's going on with it. It's always something. It's always when it's cold or raining. So, gonna get kind of noisy here. We're gonna try and get this hay down by that barn. Next time we put hay up, or next load of hay, we'll put in that barn down there, the big pole barn. So we'll see what we get figured out and see if we get something for you guys to watch. Actually, I'm showing you the stuff is going to go wrong. Always does. Like I said, it always happens when it's raining or cold. It's about 33 degrees right now. So, all fun. We'll see what happens. Yes. That water separator full. Just wander down and see what else we got going on here. Because I went to the auction Friday night. Yeah. Went to the auction Friday. Got that Bari in there. And we've got a couple new additions since my last video. Not those additions, those have been here for a while. You know, we all have seen them. Chickens. Got a new 
registered spot sow in there. You can't really see her. Picked up a boar to breed old fatty patty here. So we'll have some pigs on the ground, hopefully around April. And try and move some hay hoops around. Put a bale in here for these guys to chew on. Put a bale in the corral to separate that steer because he's got a butcher date this month. We'll put a couple bales in here in the hay hoops. Move that long feed drop down there. Up here somewhere right mark to the fence and they keep they keep knocking they had clean down over the hill there the other day. <coughs> Gotta get a hold of that mowing machine, get it out of there. Got some metal laying back there, I need to get out of there. They're trampling on it. For to fix that. Once I rebuild it. So we got a lot to do today. We'll see what he does here. The spot was in heat when I got her, brought her home last week. She should go in. He should trigger her. So, we'll see. You went to bad crap, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Back up a little bit, Trevor. Back up just a little bit. Well, today's chore started. I get to be getting the skid steer over here so we can unload that hay. As you've seen, we got the hay unloaded up there. Just rolled it off in the other field. But the belt broke on the skid steer. Right down in there. So, Jimmy run town, park store, see if we can find a belt for it. We can at least get this thing going. Get the hay moved back down here. Out of the other pasture. Uh, never a dull moment. There's always something, like I said. So, stay tuned. We'll be back, see what else we get figured out. And when it we'll rains, it pours. Figure why Jimmy's gone, I'd hook the wagon up to the four-wheeler and run some firewood around take upstairs in case it gets real nasty I can burn a wood stove upstairs got a wood furnace in the basement but right now he's been using one upstairs and four-wheeler really won't start I wasn't sure why just put gas in it the other day well the pitcock's leaking on it so it leaked all my gas out and so that's where it sits. 
So I guess I'll do it the old fashioned way, get the wheelbarrow. Because I can't use a skid steer. The truck's not running right. So I use a wheelbarrow and wheel it around there. Get her stacked up. We'll be back. Alright, so I'll show you. We didn't get everything done we wanted to. The dog just ran into the stock trailer. Uh, couldn't find dry belts for the skid steer, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow when Bobcat opens up and get a dry belt for it. So it's stuck out there in the front drive where you seen it. I did get some cows separated. Put the steer back in here in this little holding corral. Put a bread heifer in there with him. They seem to be pretty good friends, so. Got the other cows. Let me see if I can make you dizzy here. Out here, there's the longhorn. She's getting her a drink. Got the other four out here in the back pasture. Hogs are all still where they're at, except for the one going to butcher tomorrow. And I just want to show you our fails because today most of it was a fail because we didn't get everything done we wanted to. Did get hay unloaded, just not in the right spot. Got dogs. Gomming around in the backyard. And I don't know. It's all part of it. Part of getting everything started. Behind schedule. 2020 wasn't very great. 2021 should be better. I'll get out plan on getting out more videos. And hopefully get a whole lot more done and make the farm grow. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens all right everybody uh hope you like this video if you did smash that like button subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed uh ring that little notification bell so you don't miss a thing thank you to our servicemen and women and our veterans for keeping old glory flying high on the farm out here and as always we'll see you on the next one